Hello everyone! In today's video we're gonna show you how to do the drywall sanding properly. There's different methods. The first one is to use uh, a sandpaper or this mesh. Typically this is 120 grade. Um, you start off with something like 120 and then you want to move up to maybe 150 220 is the last one for for the last code because you're gonna have uh, several number of codes that uh, you apply your mudding but for the first one when it's rough you use 120 uh, and you can use this now the problem with using this to uh, make sure you know the sanding is smooth you can see there's a lot of dust right and for this when you're working you have to wear protection, so something like this. Where you put this on. Then you need to wear a mask like this. So you're fully protected against the dust. And then it looks like this. And you can see it's very dusty. Whew. Another method is to use a sponge like this. This is a, uh, it also has a, a different grade. This typically is being used at the end when you're trying to smooth out kind of define, give it the final touch. Um, and in areas where it might be hard to reach with the big tool, so maybe around the outlets, uh, light switches, but it works similar way. This is like a sanding, sanding paper, sanding block, and you can see, you can smooth it out using, using this. But the problem again, generates a lot of dust now the final method is that using water and sponge if you you look at the bucket here under sanding it says step three sanding after compound dries, sand with a wet sponge to eliminate dust or use 150 grit or finer sandpaper or 220 grit or finer abras abrasive mesh cloth. So that's what I was showing. That I, I have the mesh cloth. Avoid scuffing, uh, avoid using um, scuffing panel paper. So that's actually the first method is to use, uh, use the wet sponge. And it has no dust. So let's give that a try. We have a sponge for the drywall. It has two sides, one with uh, with more kind of granular, your typical sponge. And this one is a little bit, uh, has bigger, bigger holes here, bigger pore, pores. So we wet this first. A bucket of water here. And all we do is we use this side first. Let's use it a little bit here. We wet it. Maybe here where it was uh, And it does the magic. And then this is, um, you, you want to make sure you're constantly rinsing this, but this side you use it to kind of, you know, wipe everything down, remove all the, all the residue, 
and again you want to keep washing it so this always stays nice and clean and then you continue going down and then wipe everything again so that is the last method this one basically avoids you buying the respirator and it's dust free so those those are the main methods for sending your drywall thank you for watching see you in the next one